What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about BIM managers. Who are these BIM managers? What do they do? How can you become one? And how much money do they make? So answering the question of what a BIM manager is, is not as simple as that. It's kind of like what is BIM? It really means a whole lot of different things to a whole lot of different people. So let's see, what, what can constitute a BIM manager. So a BIM manager can be anyone from just a person in a small firm that's just happens to be best at uh, some at BIM software or at understanding software. So everybody's asking him how everything works and when they get a problem they ask him to, to fix it, him or her to fix it. Or it can be just a director that's uh, all about software and uh, understands some programming languages and is building a whole system for an international firm and is just managing the system of a, a huge international firm. So when we're talking about BIM managers it can really be anybody and what do BIM managers do? So basically BIM manager means he's managing BIM or building information modeling. He's basically managing the system so as far as architecture goes and our software that we use it's it's kind of getting more complex and complex and that's good because uh, humans don't have to do as much work but these uh, these systems are getting so complex that somebody needs to be there just to keep an eye on these systems to make sure that they're functioning functioning perfectly and that uh, and, and to find some improvements on how to make uh, the system more efficient so BIM manager is basically somebody who's covering the whole software end of the architecture firm uh, business. If you're looking at a small firm, a BIM manager can be just a person that's just best at a certain software or at a bunch of different software. Maybe he's the only one that is really proficient in Revit and then everybody asks this person for help and when there's some templates to be created or some sheets to be created, uh, this is the person that everybody goes to and that's kind of part of their job and when we get to kind of bigger uh, companies uh, then BIM manager is basically somebody who is monitoring the whole system and is improving the system and is just trying to find different uh, different ways to improve the workflow maybe creating some dynamo uh, scripts that are helping people just make the whole process a lot more efficient and uh, at these higher levels uh, Basically, the BIM manager doesn't have anything to do with the project that these people are doing. Their job is just to monitor the whole system and all of the programs and just to just to fine-tune everything so it runs smoothly. And whenever you get to a problem, this is the person everybody goes to to fix that problem. So let's say you want to become a BIM manager. You like uh, using perhaps Revit. I guess most of people watching this video uh, are Revit users. So maybe you like Revit and you like architecture, but you would rather like to be a BIM manager. So how can you become one? Well, uh, if you just find a first job out of the school, uh, you can easily become the most knowledgeable person on BIM software in a firm. If you go for a smaller firm that is uh, that isn't doesn't really have have much experience with the BIM you can easily become the, the most knowledgeable person and then everybody comes to you for help and over time you basically build your position as a BIM manager and then when you decide to go for another job in a firm that perhaps uses BIM for a long time maybe you can apply for a position where your actual job title would be a BIM manager but uh, make sure you know a lot about software you can't really just be like, yeah, I'm good with Revit, I can do all different types of weird warped buildings like Zaha Hadid designs or some Frank Gehry weird shapes. That's that's not really a BIM manager. BIM manager is somebody who knows the whole uh, workflow from beginning to end. He knows uh, how, how to go from like the initial stages uh, where you're kind of just uh, doing the, the simple modeling to over uh, kind of adding more elements and making the whole model a lot more complex and then how to pull information from that model because that's the point of building information modeling. It's pulling information out of the geometry you've created and doing all of the calculations, how to link up different programs if you have to export something from perhaps Revit to, to Excel 
or if you have to import some CAD drawings or you have to connect uh, your Revit users with robot users so they can do structural analysis. You have to cover all of that. So you need to be kind of, a, you need to monitor the system and you need to know everything about a lot of different software. And that, that can be hard at times and it can be challenging, but you have to start working from something small, something that you know, and then just kind of try to figure everything out on your own and develop all of the skills necessary to become a BIM manager. And this is one of those positions where I think having a Autodesk certificate, where you have a certificate that says that you're a <laughs> Revit Jedi, that, that maybe makes sense to get a certificate like that, because being a BIM manager is a more serious position than just saying, oh, yeah, I know Revit or I know AutoCAD you're not really an architect anymore you're a manager so you need to manage the software you need to manage the people it's a whole different kind of a profession and if you're interested in how much money BIM managers make if you look at the website called Glassdoor they kind of give you an estimate of what's an average salary for a BIM manager and they say it's around $72,000 a year which of course you need to take in consideration the country where you're at perhaps uh, for example, in my country, we have a kind of a, a low standard. So in my country, if you were getting somewhere around like 16,000 a year, that would be an amazing salary. And if you were in the US, that would probably you would probably have to have a bit more to be to be happy with your salary. So it uh, it's very dependent on where you live. But kind of the, the world average is around seventy six thousand dollars, and it can go all the way up to like hundred and seven thousand dollars for for kind of the upper tier BIM managers in more in bigger firms that do some more complex work. Okay, so that's pretty much it about this uh, about this topic. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please tell me in the comment section below, are you perhaps a BIM manager or do you know some BIM managers? Or do you agree with me about the definition of what is a BIM manager and what do they do? And please like this video, it helps me out a lot. And please share it to all of your friends. Maybe some of them want to become BIM managers at some point. And follow me on social media, I will be posting there all regularly from now on, so check out the links in the description and, and follow me over there as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.